Hi, I'm Olivier Ribière. I'm working as a web developer for Carto NG, and I'm going to present you how to use the Electron framework as a web server for your offline application. So, welcome to this lightning talk where we will see how to use the Electron framework as a web server in an offline context. We'll start with a quick reminder on, of how a website usually works and what a server is used for. I will explain why, in the humanitarian context, the classical architecture of a website is impossible and why we have designed a website to work without servers. We will then look at the operating problems we have encountered over the last few years and how we have remined these problems with the Electron Framework. So, first of all, a little reminder of how a website works. When you connect to a website, the domain name, for example, cartoeng.org, is associated with an IP address which corresponds to a server. A server is nothing more than a computer that is perma permanently on and on which programs are installed to generate websites. When a user, also called a client, wants to see the homepage of the Cartoeng site, he sends a request to the server, which sends back the page content in a format that can be interpreted by his browser. The client cannot directly access the files that make up the site. Why does it work this way? For a simple reason. It filters out who has access to what information. A simple user cannot access passwords that are stored in the database, for example. If a server ensures the proper functioning of a website, why did we make application without servers? Contrary to a classic use where a website is used with an internet connection, our partners are frequently led to use our tools in areas without internet access. In this particular case, we were asked to provide a tool that could be distributed online, used in the field while being customizable by the user. What we now call progressive web apps did not exist at this time. And in any case, the fact that the user had to be able to update his own dataset made it difficult to use a site whose data would have been stored in the browser cache. So the simple thing at the time was Terraform to create what is called a static website, which is a site that's not generated on the fly by a server. The static website was based on configuration files and on a set of data contained directly in the application files. These files were in CSV and GeoJSON format so that they could be modified by a geometrician without any development knowledge. The site could be easily displayed on the internet by being hosted on a GitHub page for example and the user only had to copy the file to his computer and open the root file index.html directly in his browser to be able to use it offline. But while this solution has worked well for several years, it is currently no longer possible. Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox have restricted the opening of a local file by an HTML page for security reasons. The aim is to prevent a person from downloading an HTML file that fraudulently retrieves data from them, their computer. The consequence, in our case, was that the application could no longer read CSV and GeoJSON files when used locally. It therefore became necessary to use a web server to run the website locally, but we were faced with two problems. The, the installation and use of a web server for a non-specialist is not necessarily simple, and in any case, the user of the site did not have a sufficient address to install new programs on their computers. So, it's to get around this problem that we have used Electron as a web server or as a website container more precisely. So what is Electron.js? It's a framework that is basically designed to create native applications from web technologies. Concretely, 
It allows you to package a website into an application that runs as an executable file on an operating system such as Windows, MacOS, or Linux. The Visual Studio Code Editor or the Spotify music streaming platform, for example, are built with Electron. But what does this have to do with a web server? The Electron framework uses Node.js as a web server to ensure that the application runs smoothly. Bundling the web application with Electron allows us to provide an executable file without installation that runs the application on a web server. Our goal was not to make a multi-OS application, all our users being on Windows. We simply wanted Electron to launch our HTML page as the user did before. So we configured Electron to launch a web browser by pointing to a folder that contains the file on our site. By default, Electron packaged all the files in a single executable file, which would have prevented users from modifying their CSV and GeoJSON files as they used to do. We have configured Electron to output a folder containing an executable to launch the website, but also a folder containing the raw website files. This way, we were able to provide users with a container of offline applications. All users have to do is replace the content of the folder read by Electron with their personal files and launch the executable to have their site running properly and without installing anything on their computer. The fact of having a single exec tab for several sites also make it possible to offer a sustainable solution in a country where the connection is weak. The user downloads the, con the application container only once and can run all these websites. If you want to know more about the technical process to configure Electron, you can read this blog article. In it, we detail all the steps for building an application container. You will also find the link to the GitHub repository of the container. Thank you for following this presentation and enjoying the GeoNG.